Hey Ghostbusters fans, today I'm going to demonstrate for you the sound effects which my PK can produce as well as the different moods that it offers for control. Um, the first thing I'm going to show you is the expert mode on the PKE meter. Um, in the expert mode, the, um, the touch switches um, control the up and down motion of the wings. Um, one, the left switch makes them go up, the right switch makes them go down. The knob that's on the back of the PKE, which you can see here, um, controls the volume in this mode. So I'll now turn on the PKE and show you the expert mode. Um, all these sounds are generated in real time in software, so they're continuously variable. It's not a sample that's being played back from the film. Um, it's all being created through additive synthesis on the chip. I'll now turn the PKE on and cycle through some of the different speeds so you can hear what it sounds like. This is about as slow as it gets. And here it is about halfway up. And this is what it sounds like if you extend the wings fully in one go. So, that's the expert mode. Um, I forgot to demonstrate to you the uh, use of the volume knob in this mode, so I'll turn the PKE on again. And lower the knob. And you can see. I'll now demonstrate easy mode for you, where the knob controls the speed and the extension of the wings. The, in this mode, there is no volume control, except for via the potentiometer on the board there. So, in order to put easy mode on, I just flip one of these dip switches. And it's now in easy mode. Turn the PKE on. And the PKE starts up active because I have this speed knob turned up, but if I turn it down, um, you'll note that in easy mode, when you turn the knob all the way down, the lights turn off when you're at the lowest speed. That's to mimic the behavior when you're using the touch switches, where the lights turn off when the PKE is at the lowest speed. And uh, that's what's seen in the film as well on, on the real prop. So I'll now uh, adjust the speed with the knob a bit.
And uh, you'll notice over here that the servos move as I'm turning the knob as well. You watch those now as I turn it down. You can see them moving. And the lights turn out when I have the speed at the lowest setting again. I will now demonstrate movie mode, which is the mode where the touch switches make the wings extend to full or half, and the um, knob on the back um, adjusts the volume. In movie mode, um, the PKA behaves as it appears to in the film, so the, um, the speed of the PKE is tied to how far the wings are extended, not to the speed control on the knob on the back. Um, that's another mode that I'll show you here in a moment. So, I've got the uh, volume knob turned all the way up here. And uh, if I touch the left touch switch, the wings will extend fully. And you'll note that the sound increased in pitch as the wings extended and decreases in pitch as they go back and I'll extend them halfway. So, when you're in this mode, it will, um, the PKA will act like it's in, looks like it is acting in the film, if you're watching Egon's fingers touching the switches, because um, you can't see the knob on the back. And it's easier than using the knob on the back, because the knob on the back is a little hard to turn. The last mode that I'm going to show you is prop mode, and in this mode, the circuit acts uh, just like the original prop did. Um, rather than controlling the volume, the knob on the back actually controls the speed of the lights, and the touch switches extend the wings either full or half. Um, in this mode, you'll notice that the, uh, the sound of the PKA is kind of abrupt when you first touch the touch switches, um, because this knob controls the speed, it automatically starts out at the full speed as soon as they begin moving, as does the sound effect. So, um, I'll set the uh, speed to the lowest speed here to start, and uh, touch the uh, left touch switch, doesn't matter which one I touch. Sounds pretty good when it's at the lowest speed. I'll turn the uh, speed up to full now. And you can see that it's kind of abrupt there where the sound just starts up like that as you touch it and it stops. And the uh, right switch does the same thing, it's just the wings extend halfway instead of full. Um, and I should also show you that, um, you can adjust the speed while the wings are extended. So let's turn this knob here. So, um, that's all the modes. Um, in addition to um, implementing the different modes and the sound effects, um, I've also, as I mentioned in the forum threads, um, done some special tricks with the uh, touch switches and stuff so that um, when you touch them, you can adjust the speed finely. So, you can just tap it like that. Um, not in this mode. Let me put it back in the... Uh, in the expert mode. Okay. So, in the expert mode, you can just tap it. And as long as you're just tapping it, you can adjust it finely. But if you press down on it hard, it will immediately go all the way up or down on you. So, it's basically um, pressure sensitive in a way. You apply more pressure, it goes up quicker. And um, I also um, 
implemented that other feature which I mentioned, which um, is where I spread the speed out more over the um, the course of the movement of the wings, so that uh, you don't get all of the speed change happening right at the very end of the wing movement. Which, if you just uh, if you just implemented it in a standard manner with linear um, speed controls, then that's what would occur. Um, same thing goes for the volume control. Um, on your stereo, it's a logarithmic uh, resistance inside the uh, controller. I'm using a linear potentiometer here, though, because I had to control the speed and all the other things. So I do that in software. I do the logarithmic stuff in order to go and uh, make the volume change in a way that sounds correct to your ear. So um, that's it, I guess. Um, I hope you enjoyed it. <laughs>